Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing the second series or the second um, take into my Obsessed with Michael Kors series. Now, um, if you haven't watched already, I did a small leather goods video. I'll leave it down in the description box below. Today I'm going to be doing an overview video of all my bags in my Michael Kors collection. And at first I thought I could fit it all on this table here and do a thumbnail, but I couldn't. Like I didn't realize how many bags I have until I saw them together. A lot of them sit in different places of my house. I like that way I can like easily grab them if I need them for like work, personal life, going places, travel, whatever. Um, so it was weird to have it. It's weird to have it all in one location. And I didn't realize like how much bags I actually do have. Again, I'm going to do a similar disclaimer that I did inside of my small leather goods video. Now, whether you want to consider him designer, luxury, not luxury, whatever, he does have a different types of lines for different types of people. They have like the sporty line, the regular line, the high end line. He does have bags that are in the thousands of dollars. So whether you want to call him designer or not designer, I just love his line of bags, his style, his material. And some people like kind of hate on the line because it is a mass produced line. But again, it's what I can afford at my price range and my price point to where I can have a collection versus, you know, Louis Vuitton where I can have maybe one or two bags versus having a full collection of bags. So I don't mind it. Again, I personally love, love, love Michael Kors. I know there's a few subscribers here on my channel that mentioned and wrote to me that you folks have been loving Michael Kors bags as well ever since I did my first Michael Kors video, which where a lot of people has found and discovered my channel was through that video. So I hope with this video, I can really reach out to different people and show you the different styles and brands. I mean, different types of styles and colors and designs that Michael does have in his collection. I love how I use his name. Like I know him like, Oh, Michael. You know Michael. <laughs> but again, I love these bags. These have become like my babies to me. Um, I'm obsessed with Michael Kors bags. You're going to see a lot of them are black. Black Safiano leather. Very similar to my small leather good collection where everything is black Safiano. But I am starting to branch out into color. I do have one, two, three. Three colored pieces here in this collection. But I'm always seeing new colors and prints and that I'm wanting to add to my collection. So don't worry. Like I'm sure you're going to see more color. But yeah, if you want to see all the bags in my Michael Kors collection, then just keep on watching. And like I said in my small leather goods video, this is not going to be a video where I dive into the names, the pricing, where to purchase from, things like that. Or does the, the measurements, the handles, the pockets and that's not what i'm doing in this video this video is just to give you an overview and then within this obsessed with michael kors series i definitely want to dive into each bag in particular and give you a full in-depth review slash whatever you want to call it of each individual bag but for this bag i mean for this video and this video purposes only it's just a really really quick overview of everything um but yeah, so we're going to start with this one here. Now, all of Michael Kors bags do have names. So I don't know all of their names by heart. I think this one's called a Dylan. I love her. She's so cute. She's a great for personal bag day, like going to the store, going around town or traveling if you just want a quick small bag to hold everything in it does have a cross body strap as well i have traveled with her before and i keep all of my stuffings for my bags all the tissue papers that way when i do put them back on my shelf it can hold their structure even more i think she's a dylan but don't quote me on it but she's cute love her she looks so professional but like i'm still here to have fun I don't know where to go. I'm going to do like my smaller ones and then move up to the bigger ones. So the next one is this one here. Similar size to the Dylan. This one's going to be a little bit smaller. The Dylan's a little bit wider. Um, also, if you're wanting me to do like a bag comparison video of two bags that you're thinking of purchasing, but you can't decide which one, leave it down in the description box. I definitely can compare the two like like the pockets, the sizing, the dimensions, whatever. But this one, again, another crossbody strap. I love when bags have crossbody because not always do I want to like 
carry the bag by its handle or like put it in my elbow. And there's a name for that. There's a name for this piece here and someone left it in the comment on my other video and I forget what it's called, but this is another cute one. It has three sections, which I love. There's one here, one here, and then one in the middle. She's new. Her name is a Savannah. Savannah Unana. Oh no, it's Havana. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this is a really cute one. She's new. I have not used her yet. But again, these sizes are perfect for just going around town. They're not really good for work or school. In my personal opinion, I love my work and school bags to be just a little bit bigger. But she's really cute. The next one, this one is very precious to me because when we recently traveled to Maui, um, my boyfriend picked me up and that's something I kind of want to start doing with my micro course bags is tying them to a location. So like Maui was our for this was our Maui trip was our first trip to Maui together. So I really wanted to commemorate the trip with a new bag and she's not like an everyday bag. She's more like for a night out kind of bag. She's a little bit more dressy. She does have a, um, what is it called? Like a metal, metal strap to it. So I think this bag is so stinking cute. Her name is Atina. I should keep my Tina. I mean, my thing in here. So that way if I need to do full in-depth view reviews of a bag, at least I know her name. But yeah, her name is Tina. She looks like a Tina. Like, she looks like she's fun, but she's professional, you know? So, like, if I ever, like, need to go to a meeting or whatever, like, this would be such a cute vibe. Or for business, you know? This one... So there was a time where I didn't have this many bags and I was battling between the Selma and the Sutan. And I think I even asked a few of you, like, should I do the Sutan or the Selma? And I opted for the Selma, but I think it was that Christmas. So I bought this in like November or October or November or even beginning December. And then that Christmas, my boyfriend got me the Sutan. A lot of my collection is from my boyfriend. <laughs> He is giving into my horrible obsession with Michael Kors. But I love the Selma. It's such a good size. I use this for work a for a really long time. And then I kind of just like to switch up my bags. Not, not for any particular reason, but just because. But I did use this Selma bag for a really, 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 really long time. Um, a little bit more appropriate for me. I did, this was my second bag to my collection, so I did feel like it was a little bit more boyish, if you would. Um, but yeah, I do love my Soma. So while we were talking about her, I'm going to show her now. This is the Sutan. Again, the Sutan is very practical for work. This was one of my, another bags that I used for a really long time for work because it has a pocket here, the main pocket, and another pocket here. I also use this for traveling. This is such a good traveling bag. It's a good size that even when you get to your location, you can still use this as an everyday bag to like when you go around town and when you go shopping and whatnot. I do add bag charms as you will see like throughout all my bags. I love adding accessories to my bags but it does come with a over the shoulder crossbody strap which a lot of my bags you'll see they do come with both because majority of the time I will hold it like this or put it inside of my I don't know the name this has a name I call it elbow crock but in my elbow crock <laughs> But, you know, like, for every day when I want hands-free, like, having a crossbody shop is really nice. So I do love my suit on. Next one here. This one's new to my collection. This is from this last Christmas. This is, I think she's still called a Jet Set Travel. Yes, the Jet Set Travel. This is the large. I do have a medium, but this is the large. I love her. I think she would be perfect for, like, school even though i don't go to school but if you do go to school i think she'd be a perfect bag for school or just a cute everyday bag i do love that the straps are a little bit bigger so they do sit nicely on top of your elbow or your this is not your elbow this is your shoulder get with it your shoulder get with it but it does fit nicely to where it's not uncomfortable so that's why i don't mind that it doesn't have a crossbody strap she's so cute she is definitely on the slimmer side um, she's not like super slim because she is taller, but um, for my normal everyday bags, 
it's kind of a smaller size bag but i think should be really cute for school or traveling or what have you so the jet set travel this is a white bag oh my lighting changed <clears throat> this is a white jet set travel bag now this one doesn't have a middle laptop case to it but still cute optic white <clears throat> and then still within the jet set travel family i do have this one here this was my most used bag because i used it every day for a really long time until i got my brown bag um but <clears throat> this one again has bag charms because i just love bag charms what I loved about this one is that it had this middle pocket here um, that can fit a laptop. This was my first Louis Vuitton. I mean, this is not Louis Vuitton. Michael Kors. This is my first Michael Kors bag ever, ever. Oh, look, I still have another small leather good in here. Just a little tote bag. I need to put that inside of my small leather goods bag. And then I do have a unicorn little sand, hand, sand, hand sanitizer holder. It's so attached. But again, I use this for work for a very long time until I got my new brown bag. But I love her. I love her size. I think this is so perfect for work because it can just hold so much. I have one more purse type of bag and then we move into more of like a travel bag. This one is the North South. North South. And then the East West is a little bit shorter, which I don't have the East West but I do have the Dylan, which is similar to the East West. This is the North South. I did get this one from eBay. It wasn't used, but it was just new without tags. Mainly because I couldn't, for the time that I wanted it, I couldn't find it online. Um, but now you can find this bag anywhere, which I'm kind of mad about that I did buy it secondhand. But I did get a good price on it, so I didn't mind. Um, but again, another good size to have. It does have the lock here with the key in this little pouch here. But it just has a crossbody. This crossbody is not adjustable, but it sits at a really nice spot on the arm. Maybe I need to start using this one for work. Because I bought it secondhand, it did have a little, like, I don't want to, like, weird you out, but, like, a little odor to it. Um, which is why I didn't use it for a long time. But now that I'm smelling it, I don't smell the odor as much. I still do a little, but I just need to... I put coffee beans in it, an open bag of coffee beans, which I heard absorbs the odors in things. So, um, yeah, I did do that. And then I have a dryer sheet in her, but she's so cute. And I didn't want to give her back, so I just decided to keep it and deal with the scent. But this is the north-south, I believe. I think the east-west west is like half the height and then like a little bit smaller. But love her. She's so big. This would be a cute one for traveling too. And then moving on to travel bags. I do have one backpack. I just got this this Christmas. This is new to my collection. Again, I am branching out into color. And I have been obsessed with this forest green. And these bag ties are so cute. These buckles are gold. It's so cute. This is called the Kelsey backpack. And she is like that nylon material similar to um, if you watch my small leather goods collection video. Um, my little pouch. This one's so cute for traveling. Easy to wipe. So, so cute. And I love, love, love this green. Ugh, so cute. I can't wait to, like, I want to travel so I can just use, like, all my bags. But I don't want to travel because I want to use that money to buy more bags. It's just first world problems, you know? So this is a gym bag. This one is not new. I mean, kind of new, but um, I just haven't used it yet. This is the Libby bag. She's so cute. She's kind of big. She's kind of like a duffel, but I think I could probably use it for an everyday bag. Maybe I might start using this to work as like a work bag. This would be so cute. It's like a gray, like a soft gray, like an off gray. I don't know how to describe it. A brown gray. This does have silver hardware though, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I don't mind it. Um, but I was just trying to check it to make sure that it has a crossover stock. 
But again, I think I got this last Christmas. No. For a birthday? No. I got it for a holiday as a gift, but I love her. Libby. This is a Libby. Last bag in my collection. Oh, come on. Is a duffel. This is my prize possession in my whole entire collection. My baby. I love traveling with her. Again, just adding a lot of little accessories. I have a pom pom. I have a luggage tag, which is usually for suitcases, but I have it on my pom pom, as well as a little lock and key. She, she is so cute. She does have a crossbody strap, um, as well as on the back. It does have a little pocket here to hook onto a luggage and it actually zippers close. But she's so cute. Like, you don't know how cute I look in the airport with like this as my duffel, a Michael Kors bag, just like chuckling through like, oh, you know me, don't mind me, just so cute with my Michael Kors. Uh, I should start using her to work. Just kidding, people would probably think I'm crazy. But yeah, that's going to be it. That's going to be my entire Michael Kors bag collection. I know it is a bit excessive, but I love it. I absolutely love Michael Kors bags. Now again, if you do want any bag in particular, which I do plan to do all of them anyway, but if you do want a bag in particular like soon, like a full video dedicated to it, or if you want me to compare two bags in particular, then just let me know down in the comment section and we'll definitely put that on the top of the list. But if not, like I will eventually go through all these bags and kind of just do like a quick little like view of it. I don't know, like a quick little review, yeah, review of it and just giving you details and what can fit in it. Because I know that was one of the biggest questions when I did my last Michael Kors review video of my Jet to Travel, my first bag, this one here, was like what could fit in it. So I definitely will do that for you folks. But I hope you folks enjoyed it. I know you folks requested a lot more Michael Kors videos. And here it is. I'm here. I'm giving them to you. And be ready because there's going to be a lot coming. <laughs> if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Click subscribe before you leave. Stick around for more videos. And until next time, bye.